In this video series, we're going to learn how to create an animated visualization of the selection sort algorithm. You may want to watch these videos in the intended order, so check out the description for the link to the playlist. In the last few videos, we learned about selection sort, how it works, how to implement it in C sharp, how to randomly initialize cubes of varying height, and then how to sort these using selection sort according to their height. In this video, we're going to learn about coroutines. When we run our project that we've developed, we can see that the cubes are sorted almost instantly. However, what we actually want to do is visualize the sorting process itself. To do this, we need to introduce some delay between the steps of a selection sort algorithm, which will give us some time to appreciate the process. One approach is to introduce some delay using coroutines. A coroutine is similar to a function and looks almost identical when it's written in C-sharp. With a coroutine, we can use the yield statement, which is similar to return, but instead pauses the execution of the current function and automatically resumes it at the next frame. We can pair this with a yield instruction named wait for seconds, which will pause the coroutine for a specified number of seconds. Let's modify our project and introduce the use of coroutines. This will allow us to have a one second pause every time we're looking to swap a cube. First, we need to change the return type of our selection sort function to iEnumerator. This allows Unity to treat this function as a coroutine. Now, we need to change our call to the selection sort function from a normal function call to a start coroutine call. In this case, we can simply surround the existing call with the start coroutine function. We can see that the code editor is complaining that a return statement is missing. This is because we've changed the return type of our function from void to iEnumerator. Let's use the wait for seconds yield instruction that we discussed earlier in order to pause for one second every time i is incremented in our first loop. We just need to type yield, return, new, wait for seconds, and then pass in one as a parameter. Now, if we run our program again, we can see that there is a one second pause between every swap consideration during our selection sort. That's it for this video on coroutines.